What is going on guys, Victor here, and today we have the ultimate Mahi Mahi BLT fish sandwich. I completely forgot to film an intro earlier, so this is it. We got a plethora of food. We got some good stuff going on, so I'll see you guys offshore. All right, Vic, you're on. Okay, we finally got something. Uh, so, Brick and I saw this frigate bird working. These birds that are offshore right there behind us, and um, we saw a ton of flying fish just coming out of the water, and it was these dolphins that were chasing them. Ready? Yep. Nice little keeper. Nice little schooly dolphin that did not get a chance to fight at all out there, so he's giving us all he's got in here. We've been following these frigate birds around for like 15 minutes now. And I finally was like, all right, Vic, now what? And as soon as I said that, he hooked up to this dolphin. Yeah. Check this out. We're on. So what we're doing is there's a ton of birds out here and flying fish busting everywhere. Those are those fish that literally fly. And there's a bunch of little schooly dolphin chasing them around, just greyhounding, coming out of the water, backs out of the water, a bunch of frigate birds everywhere. So that's what we're doing. We were trolling planes trying to get a wahoo, but I took the deep bait off of this and now we got two baits on top. Let's try to get some more. Oh. They're chasing flying fish right behind the boat. For those of you guys who don't know, I know it's self-explanatory, flying fish fly, but they'll get airborne for 10 or 15 seconds sometimes and the frigate birds, that's that big black bird with the white belly, they will try to catch them while they're in the air and it's the coolest thing. That's why they look for dolphin offshore like we look for the birds, they look for the dolphin because the dolphin, they raise the bait fish up and they make them fly. Well guys, sometimes you go out there and you troll for six hours and all you catch is one keeper dolphin. But you know what? That's fishing. That's why they don't call it catching. But you will see that we are going to make a pretty good dinner out of this one little fish is going to be able to feed myself, Brooke, and her family. So let's go ahead and fillet it up. Another really cool thing about dolphin also known as mahi mahi or dorado around the world is that this fish right here is probably only two three maybe four months old dolphin are some of the fastest fastest growing fish in the ocean at about two years old they could be up to 50 60 pounds you know these fish grow extremely fast so what we're doing is we're just separating the meat from the spine Going all the way up into the head. Once we get over here, you feel for the soft spot. We go down and around the peck fin, just like so. And then we gotta break through the pin bones and get on the other side of the backbone. Once you're on the other side of the backbone, point the tip of our knife down. all there is to it and dolphin have very uh, pronounced and kind of nasty guts so you do not really want to get in there I'll show you guys what I mean in a second kind of try to avoid this area because dolphin are full of just a lot of stuff not very good stuff and this guy see I already told you he's probably only a few months old a little teenager but already at this size this is a female with eggs. This is a roe sack. These are eggs. Also, I guess caviar. People people have told me that they eat mahi roe. I've tried it. I don't know if you're supposed to cook it or not because every time I've tried it, it has, it's, it's got a really bitter taste. Comment below if you guys eat it, how you're supposed to prepare it because every time I've tried it, it's been really bitter. Maybe you're supposed to cook it or prepare it in a certain way. But I'll tell you what, fish love eggs absolutely love eggs we got a bunch of catfish down there waiting for us oh my gosh yeah yeah it was a jack the whole bottom there's we me and brick always talk about the fact that sometimes there's so many catfish in the canal and other times there's two three but there's probably a solid hundred catfish down there right now okay we got both sides filleted out very nice job as always with the trusty Dexter now let's go ahead and check his stomach 
because I keep telling you guys that they grow really fast. And one really cool thing about being a fisherman and catching your own fish is seeing what they've been eating. And I can tell you right now that this guy does in fact have stuff in his stomach. Um, really bad. When we were out there, oh, cool. when we were out there, so when we were out there, you guys heard us talking about flying fish. And that's what the dolphin were eating and that's what the frigate birds were after. Well, there is the proof in the pudding. These are the flying fish's wings. This flying fish looks pretty um, relatively recently digested. He's not very digested, so maybe a few hours ago. But there's oh, one cool. flying fish. I think this is the first time Brooke and I have ever seen a fully intact flying fish, haven't we? That's cool. Very interesting. Now, here looks to be the remains of another flying fish because you can see the wing. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot more digested. What else do we got? Looks like more flying fish remains. Some type of fish, really digested. Looks like more flying fish. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, wow, that one's so small. Okay, let's put them side by side so you guys can see. Check that out. So, I, Brooke, what do you think? The majority of the ones we saw were that little one. No, like this. You thought? I don't see any that small. Oh, wait, is that a flying fish? Yeah, he's got wings. Oh my gosh, it is. That is so cool. You guys probably think we're crazy because this excites us, but this is what it's about. You actually see the stuff inside their stomachs, what they're chasing. It's like Discovery Channel out here, you know? See you later. Watch, I bet you this flying fish gets devoured by a jack if I toss it out there. Yep. Boom, there's a jack. Here we got the mahi-mahi, all butchered up. And this one fish, one schoolie fish is gonna feed a family of seven. So it goes to show you, you don't need to always go out there and completely crush it. We may not be the best fishermen in the world, but I'll tell you what, we always eat good at the end of the day. And that's all that matters. We're going to make the ultimate fish BLT today. Super excited, something I've been wanting to try for a long time. And we got brand new salt and pepper mills. So, some Himalayan pink salt. Nice mixture of peppercorns. I'm gonna do these coarse. I like big chunks of pepper. And of course, you know it's a Vic Catch and Cook when he busts, busts out the garlic powder. We're not gonna season this side right now. We're gonna do it Put the seasoning side down on the pan and then we'll get to that when we get to that. One thing we're making is a garlic aioli yogurt type cream sauce for our uh, BLT. So I'm going to do two parts Greek yogurt to one part mayo. So two parts Greek yogurt to one part mayo. Keep it a little bit healthy with the Greek yogurt, but still add the flavor of the mayo. This is three cloves of garlic. I, I'm not going to add all of it at once. I'm going to add about this much because I don't want it to be overwhelming. And then in here, we have some freshly chopped basil as well as some lime zest. I wanted lemon zest, but we didn't have any, so it was the next best thing. Black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Last catch and cook I posted, I made this exact same salad. Tomato, cucumber, scallion, chickpeas. Um, this time we're gonna do lime juice instead of lemon juice, because like I said, we do not have any lemons tonight. Okay, olive oil, about a little less than a quarter cup. Lots of freshly cracked black pepper, Himalayan salt, and we're gonna add the leftover garlic we have, which is about two cloves, and feta cheese. Now we mix. We got all the stuff ready for our sandwich. Now we're gonna make the fish, and I'm gonna fry them in a little bit of butter. Hope you guys are ready for the sizzle. 
Ouch! You don't get that much sizzle when you're using a non-stick. Okay. Now we season the other side again with our garlic powder. How pretty does that look? Beautiful mahi fillets. You have some avocado. There's nothing in it, just avocado. We're gonna do that as our base layer. Our top layer, we have our garlic basil aioli. Two pieces of fish. Load it up with bacon. Okay, now some lettuce. Finally, you have your tomato. And that is the ultimate fish BLT, right there.